New in the July version of Radiologic DJ for 2017 is Stream Receive, which shows up here as this tab. And what Stream Receive can do is play MP3 streams, AAC Plus streams, and Og Vorbis streams, as well as static files on HTTP and HTTPS, such as MP3s and M4As. So for each stream, you need to make a new stream profile. I've got one here for my old time radio station, but I'm going to create a new one. Uh, paste in the URL for that station. Let's give it a name. This is actually Radiologic Trance. And we can pick our sound output. It will use the default channels on that. Set our fades for fading the station in and out because it is a continuously running station. It's best to fade in and out. Set a duck level, and the duck level is something we can use uh, while I'm talking to you, or uh, really the duck is meant for things like ducking for the palette and players so uh, that the local content is primary. So for instance, you could be playing a stream and you want to do an ID or station imagery. It'll duck down the stream, play your local content, and return the stream back to its full volume. So. We have enough information here to actually get this stream started, so let's give it a try. All right, I put duck on for right now, and we can see what we have. We have the elapsed time, the ability to stop the station, and we have some metadata. The top line here is the station name, and after that is what's playing. Now with metadata from streams, they don't actually give you the artist and the title and the album as separate elements, so we need to parse those out if we're going to republish them properly for RDS and all the other publishing outlets, uh, even to other streams. So in order to do that, there's a parse function in here, and this will actually parse out the different elements by a separator, in this case a space dash space, so that's the delimiter here, and then we can say the first element will be the artist. The second element will be the title, and these can vary from stream to stream. They might have them in a different order. That's why this is configurable. And here for the album, we don't get an album, so this is useless. So we could put, well, we could put any static text in here we want, or uh, let's uh, make this actually the uh, station name. And this will be applied for all tracks that play after this, or, or we can play it, uh, apply it immediately. And there we have the artist and the title and the album all parsed out. If we want to publish this on, we just need to turn publish on. And then you'll see at the top here, the now playing just switch to the stream. And a little indicator to indicate that it's something special, it's the stream playing. There's a little icon for that. What's kind of neat is no matter where you are, if you click on that little icon, it'll take you to the stream that's actually playing. So now I want to show you how uh, local content will actually uh, duck it. So let's turn duck off for now and I'll go to the palette and play a little logo off of there. All trance, all day, all night. You're listening to Radiologic Trance. So streams can also, stream profiles can also be set as track actions. So for full automation, you can start and stop streams. So I'll give an example of that. Let's actually pick, uh, let's make sure auto is off because we're going to add a track and we don't want this to happen immediately. Uh, so let me just uh, add this track to the queue. And I'll double click to get the track actions. And I want this to actually stop the stream, so that's one of the actions we have here for a stream, is to actually stop it. And let's have this be an interrupt, and we'll go for 6.04 as the uh, interrupt time. And you'll see here the track action indicates it's, a, it's going to turn the stream off. I mean, we could switch to a different stream, um, and that up arrow indicates that that stream would be uh, turned on, but we want this to stop the stream and play this particular file. So let's turn Duck off and let's hear it happen.
Okay, so you'll notice that going back and forth from streams to local content, you can blend this stuff together beautifully. So that, and that's the whole intention with uh, adding a stream to your station. So let me quickly also go take a look. Let me bring this down. We'll go over in scheduler and set up a, a little mock-up in scheduler as well. So here I am in scheduler. I'm just going to add a new program. Doesn't matter what it's called right now. Um, let's set let's set it for the six o'clock hour. That's the hour we're working in. Turn on some days. Uh, come over here, and let's add um, a pick that picks from a playlist, random, unique, etc. Just so we have something. And then we'll put another pick where we're actually going to switch over to the stream. So we'll put the stream in there. And we could have this naturally occur, or we could make it a, a particular interrupt time. And I think that looks pretty good. We've got the right one selected. Um, once I program this track, I'm going to advance it so that we can actually see uh, what happens. Ah, I know what I did wrong. Let's go back. I need to assign this to an actual file. Let's assign it to a silent file and we'll give it another try. We get a different track to play here. Okay, so I'm next I'm going to advance this track and then this silent file is going to play which is going to start the stream. So you can imagine all the different ways you could actually make transitions instead of going right from one song to another, um, where the listener doesn't even know there was really a switch in the station. In this particular case, we're playing the same music. Uh, you could interrupt it with a whole different element, then have another interrupt come in and start the stream. Uh, later on, just put an interrupt in for when you want to return back to uh, local content. So, And that's Stream Receive. <laughs>